From Extra Mile Arena in Boise, Idaho, the Broncos look to equal the school record of 10 straight wins and stay on top of the Mountain West, hosting the Falcons of Air Force next on Stadium. Tonight, as we get ready to go, Boise State 9 and 1, perfect in Mountain West play, Air Force 3 and 6, 1 and 4 in conference play. Through a line where they can look to, to go high, low, or they can look to kick out to shooters. Good ball movement for the Falcons. And Chris Joyce connects. Going to have the most talented team on the floor, but he just wants his guys to compete and be consistent with their competitive edge. Marcus Shaver picking up where he left off on Wednesday. He hit three in that game. Percentage, he's shooting 36% from the field. And for a big, you shouldn't shoot under 50%. Everything that you, that all the shots that you take in their lineup, he's got a, a lot of responsibility on him. Joyce aggressive early. Joyce is hit two from the outside. Ensuring that defensive rebound. The first game against Utah State, against Kata and, and Bean, they, they, they struggled a little bit, but they want a, a, a four out pass and cut, trying to get the ball into the lane and create problems. You see Key Jab right there on the fadeaway in the lane. The truck. Very deep bench, even without Acott tonight. And there's AJ Walker. Don't leave him alone. Eight points, three boards. No turnovers. Yeah, he's just in, in getting some 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 sort of rotation and he's giving Joe Scott something. Max Rice. And there is that's where Boise State is extremely, extremely good in I have down low. No, really deep, and they get it to the guard, McClintock. Good pass and a good finish. That was a great pass. There's that Max Rice three. Called it, Bob. Called it. Broncos up two. Chris Joyce, Penix at the other end. That's right about half the game started the last couple of years. So he's had some experience. Right there, that's a great move by Keyjob. Use his pivot. Got that familiarity, just like Shaver, just like Acott. And that's why they were such contributors. So it was uh, Armouche. Poston looking to attack. It's a pass and cut, four out, not to the rim and score. Alston a perfect four for four at the line. If they take, continue to take care of the basketball, they'll continue to be yeah, in this game. Because they have this efficiency now when they get in the half court. You see Van Solen draw. He's played more minutes than anybody playing well, even with the fouls. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't play a lot of his bench, so I think he just trusts the guys that that, that he had. The first half for the Falcons. Wide open three. Bang! Air Force continues to find the efficiencies. They're shooting 60%, five of eight from three. Max Rice, the floater, gets it right back. Drive on tree. Oh, and he finds the cutter to the hoop. Look at that. Tight quarters again. And Morse has led this game for over five minutes. Boise State has barely led. Been tied for a long time. And there we go again with A.J. Walker. Continue to take care of the basketball. No one wants to go back down on defense and defend back cuts and, and, and isolation. Now deep, the freshman, Lord McClintock, who had trouble scoring on Wednesday. But he doesn't play like a freshman. He's not afraid to take the big shot. Dutree in close quarters makes it look easy. He'll have the green light. Another good pass down inside, and look at the reverse, A.J. Walker again. Reverse English on the, on the layup. That's just a veteran play by him. Key jab, second chance. Key jab, much more active offensively than on Wednesday. Contacted. <laughs> he sold that one very well. Oh, a nice drive, and there's Dutrieff. See, he makes that look easy. Made it look he really easy. He just glides to the hoop. Move. Walker will have to drive, and he takes it all the way. Was losing control, and still goes. <laughs> oh, that ball's coming off his hand. He kept that going with a fingertip. I like A.J. Walker's game. <laughs> Got a hand on that, but it comes right back to Walker. Walker penetrates, drives, and scores again. He finds a way around the rim. And when you seven-point game he had against Nevada, there will spend that extra year between high school and just yet. Shaver looked really good on Wednesday. 
Down low. There's a Kaya. And the lead is seven. Again, 27 in the win at Nevada on December 20th. So that is his career best. So a good start for the Broncos. Uh, Shaver was surprised by the elbow. And here's Key Jab again. Uh-oh. Maybe this is the guy. Seven of 11 from the field for Abu Kijak. And a roll on the Canadian junior international teams. And here's Joyce getting it going again. Joyce good for. <laughs> so Air Force got up seven late in the first half. Now the Broncos are starting to connect. There's Shaver. OJ Dennis. A little hesitation. There he goes. He's in the books now. Aramush. Down the paint, and that goes, and he'll get to the line. Probably not the guy you'd expect to roll that ball over the rim. That gets a smile out of the big man. Yeah, well, you don't expect your big. <laughs> there's Kijap. Entry, Arbush. Look at the hook with a kiss. Oh, he's feeling it now. He can score from anywhere. Joe Scott wants to win. Alston starts the break and the finish for K-Jab. And Derek Alston showing his assist skills. And on the side, you know, when guys score, you know, you see, you see guys over there with, with a lot more theatrics. Glenn McClintock has nine. Well, baseball, baseball is what paid the bills. Look at K-Jab inside and one. And that is going to be a season high for Abu Kijab. Yeah, they have left in the game. You can't, can't keep them out there. There's too much time. Kijab to uh, Northridge. Good penetration at the other end. There's and a there big is, time uh, duck in. That pass a little careless. And Broncos going to make him play. Look out for Kijab. And another and one opportunity. Take a look at the bench. That's strength, you know that, Abu Kijab, the young man from yeah. Ontario. Kijab with the finish through traffic for a season high. With the Knicks. A cup of coffee in the league, played a lot overseas. Oh, look at that. Austin wanted that, feeling pretty good now. It's his first three. Bite him a little bit. Seven turnovers in the second half. Chris Joyce. Got it. Not before he caught it. AJ Walker gives it up. Oh, a clip top. Gets into double figures. And, and next thing available. Might have some uh, pre tournament action down there. Just an excuse to go early to the tournament. Here's Arbush with the putback. And that free throw goes down. That's. <laughs> Joyce, there's AJ, got that. Right, big one for Walker. Answer at the other end, Kijet. Well from the outside, look at Shaver getting after that and he scores on the putback. And that's, that's, you know, a problem with the problem with the San Jose State of that second game. Well, we got our Moosh putback. Now there's a good finish for him. Underneath. That's a great finish want. for him at this point. Joyce, again, yeah. got 17. Kijap, oh yeah. He's great off balance. He is, and yeah. those shots are hard to guard. I mean, you know, you don't, that uh, Chris Joyce and Walker's been shooting the basketball. Ray J. Dennis, nice pass in the baseline, finds Alston from deep in the corner. And that was a great baseline drive to a drift pass. And look at Kijap hustling after it, gets it to Alston again, bam! Great effort by Kijab and Alston makes them pay. Big time hustle play by Kijab and they've, they've been able to get some things done with the small lineup and they trust it. And of course, ironically, that night that was Kijab hitting a couple of big threes. And then of course, eight. Couldn't knock it down. Austin again. And there. Two minutes remaining. The lead remains 10. Shaver open. There it's a 12-point lead. A quick 
you know, so like, like I said before, you know, he, he, uh, you got to admire that, but, you know, he, it's going to result in him picking up. Joyce is the three, and there's Walker capping his night. Put a bow on it at Extra Mile Arena. And Leon Rice now can smile underneath his Bronco mask. So while Arena for my broadcast partner, Viking Jones, and our entire crew, I am Bob Akami, and so long from Boise. Final score, Broncos 80, the Falcons of Air Force 69. For more great college basketball coverage, along with daily studio programming and the latest news and information, visit watchstadium.com.